Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin is playing out a new pattern, while Ethereum is running into short-term resistance, which I'll talk about later in the video, so definitely stick around. First of all, starting off on the daily Bitcoin to US dollar chart. And right now, as I've recorded in this video, the price of Bitcoin has confirmed one daily candle close below 27,000. And obviously, over the last one day, we have seen a retest back up towards 27,000. And so in order to further confirm this break to the downside, we need to confirm this retest with a rejection from 27,000. And if that happens, if we do end up seeing that rejection confirming this previous support into new resistance, then in that case, we would likely see this pullback continue down towards this price range, which should be acting as support sitting in between around 24,000 to 25.3K. And obviously, so far, the price of Bitcoin has gotten within just a few percent, around 2% from this support area so far. But like I just said, as long as we see a rejection, from 27,000, confirming it now as resistance, then we would likely head back down towards this price range. Because if you're looking at the daily Bitcoin price oscillators as of right now, they are still technically leaning more bearish than bullish. Because for example, the daily Bitcoin RSI, as of right now, this is currently trending to the downside because obviously we're seeing a lower highs and lower lows. And so this alone is simply a sign of weakness here on the daily time frame telling us that we're unlikely going to see any significant bullish price action anytime soon. And of course, if you're looking at the daily Bitcoin MACD, this is also currently trending in the bearish direction. And now if you're looking at the last time this happened in these price oscillators, of course, as I said in my last few videos, this also happened back during around February to March when we saw this pullback during the larger bullish trend. And so that's why recently on the channel, I've been comparing this stage in the market to back then, because technically speaking, it's still possible that the price of Bitcoin could continue to remain within this multi-month long larger bullish trend. But obviously, as of right now, we are clearly seeing a pullback in this trend, somewhat similar to what we saw back here. And once again, if you measure the size of that pullback from that high down to the low, that was around a 22% pullback. And from this 31K high, a 22% pullback would put us right at around $24,000 approximately. So even if we do see a continued pullback here all the way down towards this area of support, and then for as long as we bounce in that area of support or above that area, then once again, it's still possible we could remain within the larger multi-month long bullish trend after what we saw back here. But at least for now, in the more shorter term relative to the daily time frame, as in talking about the coming days, maybe maybe over the next one to two weeks. Obviously, we are currently looking a little bit more bearish than bullish just for now. And of course, this is also because we saw that break to the downside here on the eight hour Bitcoin chart, which sets up this technical price target for this symmetrical triangle pattern at around 24.1K. And technically speaking, this price target at around 24.1K only gets invalidated if we actually see a breakout back above around 27.5k, which is where this line of support is currently sitting at. So once again, at least for now, while the price of Bitcoin is still trading below this support, obviously we are still leaning more bearish than bullish with this price target currently in play. And I would only start to flip more bullish again if we can actually see confirmed breakouts back above some of these significant levels. But this is all talking about the slightly larger timeframes with these larger moves in the market. But if you're looking at the smaller timeframes, like the four hour Bitcoin chart, obviously right now, an active bullish divergence is currently playing out just in the short term, which is also what I mentioned in my last video. I said, we are potentially forming this bullish divergence, but we still need to see a little bit more confirmation here with another one to two candle closes in the green. And obviously since my last video, we have seen that happen, which means right now, 
as of recording this video, this bullish divergence on the four hour chart is active, which means we should expect reduced bearish momentum just in the imminent short term, because usually these bullish divergences on the four hour time frame last for around one to two days or so. So basically, potentially over the next one to two days, it's likely we could see a bit of choppy sideways price action or a slight recovery just in the imminent short term, kind of like what we saw back here or back here, for example. But it is important to understand that this alone doesn't necessarily cancel this bearish movement and this price targets, because for that, we need to see more bullish confirmation like a breakout back above some of these levels once again. So essentially, as I explained in my last video, we're likely going to see a little bit of a break from the bearish price action in the imminent short term before potentially continuing the bearish price action later on. So as always, it is important to understand the difference between different time frames because sometimes when I talk about bearish on one time frame and bullish on another time frame, some people get confused thinking that I'm talking about both bullish and bearish at the same time on the same time frame. But no, obviously we can see a pullback that has some smaller bullish price action within the pullback like what we saw back here or right now, for example. And once again, if you zoom out to a larger time frame like the daily chart, it's possible that this is all just a giant pullback within a larger multi-month trend similar to what we saw here. And something else that could assist this small bullish divergence on the four hour time frame is the funding rates, which are currently flipping back into the negative, meaning a lot of people are trying to short the market at the moment, because when the funding rates are negative, essentially the short positions have to pay that funding rate as a regular fee to the long positions, which incentivizes more longs to be opened and more short to be closed, which in that case adds buying pressure to the market. So once again, just for now, this is technically a bit of a short-term bullish signal to help out this short-term bullish divergence, but we still currently have those larger bearish factors playing out at the moment on these slightly larger timeframes that we cannot forget about. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the daily ETH to US dollar chart. And right now, as I've recorded this video, the price of ETH is running into this area of support in between 1770 to 1820. And as I've said recently on the channel, if we see a confirmed break to the downside below 1770, then in that case, we would likely see a drop down towards this price range in between around 1650 to 1.7K. And once again, as I've said recently on the channel, if we do end up seeing a drop from this high down to that lower price range in between 1650 to 1.7K, that would be around a 22% move from that local high, which would be pretty much the exact same sized movement, same sized pullback to what we saw back here during around February to March, which obviously occurred within the larger multi-month long bullish trends that we've seen since November last year. So at least for now, in the more shorter term relative to the daily time frame, obviously we are currently in a more bearish phase in the market, but once again, this could be occurring within a larger bullish trend. And as of right now, in terms of the momentum in the price oscillators, the daily Ethereum RSI is still looking more bearish than bullish at the moment, because obviously we're still seeing things like lower highs and lower lows, while the daily Ethereum MACD at the moment is still currently showing bearish momentum. And now if you're zooming into the shorter term, this is on the four hour ETH to US dollar chart. And obviously over the last one day, we have seen a bit of a reset, a bounce back to the upside, resetting this RSI from oversold territories, which is also what I talked about in my last video, because in that video, I said that we're likely going to see a bit of a reset because the RSI was in oversold territories, meaning we're likely going to see a small amount of either sideways price action or a slight bounce in the imminent short term. But because we are now resetting this RSI, this is technically now giving us some more room to the downsides. And this is, of course, how trends go. We usually do not go in a straight line. For example, this bearish trend, we have seen bullish price action throughout this bearish trend, just like how in a bullish trend, of course, we can see bearish price action during a bullish trend. And so as of right now, just on the four hour time frame here in the shorter term, technically we are still looking more bearish than 
bullish in terms of the trend and momentum. It's just over the last one day, of course, we were due to see a bit of a reset because the RSI was in oversold territories. And as for support and resistance right now, as I recorded in this video, the price of ETH is running into this previous support level, which is now acting as resistance, which is sitting at around 1810. And now if we end up seeing a breakout back above 1810, then we still have this area of previous support, which should now be acting as resistance in between 1830 to 1850. And above that area, we also have a small amount of resistance just here at around 1890 and more resistance in this price range in between 1920 to 1950. And as for support based on these previous lows, we have quite a lot of support around 1.7K to around 1730. And obviously so far, the price of ETH has gotten within just a few dollars of that 1730 support level. And now if you want to know how to maximize your profits in crypto, no matter if the price is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around sideways, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is either trending bullish or bearish like at the moment. And the video in the bottom left shows you how to make money if the price is chopping around sideways. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.